session. In the last class, we discussed some properties of integers. We all know 0 is an integer. Now let us look what happens if you do all mathematical operations with 0. First let us add an integer with 0 and check what we will get. Look here, 2 plus 0. The answer is 2. The reverse order look, 0 plus 2, that is also equal to 2. In this question look, 0 plus negative 5. The answer is negative 5. You can look the reverse order, negative 5 plus 0, that is also equal to the same number, negative 5. So what can we say? If we add any integer with 0, we get the same integer itself. That is, if a is an integer, then a plus 0 is equal to a, that is equal to 0 plus a. If we add any integer with 0, we get the same integer itself. Now, let us move to subtraction. We can check what happens if we subtract an integer from 0. Look here, 0 minus 3. The answer is negative 3. And here, 5 minus 0. The answer is 5. The reverse look, 3 minus 0. The answer is 3. 0 minus 5. The answer is negative 5. That is, if we subtract 0 from an integer, we get the same integer as answer and if the integer is subtracted from 0, we get its additive inverse. That is, if a is an integer, then a minus 0 is equal to a and 0 minus a is equal to negative a. Now let us look what happens if 0 is multiplied with an integer. Look here. What is the answer of 6 into 0? The answer is 0. 0 into 6. The reverse order. That also 0. Let us take one negative integer. Negative 3 into 0. The answer is 0. The reverse. 0 into negative 3. That is also equal to 0. So if we multiply any integer with 0. Either it is positive or negative. We get 0 as the answer. That is if a is an integer. Then a into 0 is equal to 0 or 0 into negative a is equal to 0. Now let us move to division. Look here. 0 divided by 8. 0 is an integer. 8 is also an integer. 0 divided by 8 is equal to 0. But the reverse look. 8 divided by 0. Is it possible? No. 8, 8 divided by 0 is not defined. So division of a number by 0 is not defined. That is, if a is an integer, then 0 by a is equal to 0 and 
a divided by 0 is not defined. Division of a number by 0 is not defined. And 0 divided by a number is 0. And dear students, there is a special name for 0. 0 is the identity, identity of integers. What is the special name for 0? 0 is the additive identity of integers. Now let us look what is the role of 1 in the case of integers. Let us multiply and look an integer with 1. What is the answer of 6 multiplied with 1? The same integer 6 will really get. In the reverse also 1 multiplied by 6 then also we will get 6. Negative 5 into 1. The answer is negative 5. And 1 into negative 5. That is also negative 5. So if you multiply any integer with 1, we get the same integer itself. If a is an integer, then a into 1 is equal to a that is equal to 1 into a. So we can say this 1 as the multiplicative identity of integers. Remember 0 is the additive identity of integers and 1 is the multiplicative identity of integers. And look if you divide any integer with 1, what answer we get? 7 divided by 1. What is the answer? 7. Negative 8 divided by 1. It is negative 8. So if you divide any number by 1, we get the same number itself as the answer. That is, if a is an integer, then a divided by 1 is equal to a and negative a divided by 1 is equal to negative a. So, dear students, by this, we have discussed all the properties of integers. Now, let us move to some Questions. Look students, here is a question for you. In a quiz, positive marks are given for the correct answers and negative marks are given for the incorrect answers. If Jack score in 5 successive rounds were 25, negative 5, 10, 15 and negative 10, what was his total? at the end. So we want to add this all and find 25 minus 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus negative 10 and find the total score of Jack. So look, this was a score of Jack in 5 successive rounds. 25, second round negative 5, third round 10, fourth round 15 and 5th round negative 10. So you want to find the final score. So addition of the integers we have studied 25 minus 5 which is 20 plus 10 plus 15 both are same sign of integers 10 plus 15 that is 25 plus minus 10 again 20 plus 25 it is 45 plus negative 10 one is positive, other is negative. Subtract it. 
45 minus 10, it is 35. And Jack's final score is positive 35. So here is the next question for you. At Srinagar, temperature was negative 5 degrees Celsius on Monday. And then it dropped by 2 degrees Celsius on Tuesday. Monday it was negative 5. Dropped means came down by 2 degrees Celsius on Tuesday. What was the temperature of Srinagar on Tuesday? So Monday it was negative 5. So it dropped means negative 5 minus 2. What is negative 5 minus 2? Negative 7. Okay. So next look. Now the temperature of Tuesday is negative 7 degrees Celsius. On Wednesday it rose by 4 degrees Celsius. Tuesday's temperature is now negative 7. And Wednesday it rose by 4 degrees Celsius. This is raised by 4 degrees Celsius. So we must add that. Negative 7 plus 4. So what is the temperature on Wednesday? Negative 7 plus 4. It is negative 3. So what was the temperature on Wednesday? It is negative 3. Come, let us write and look. Look, the first step you must write. Monday's temperature is equal to negative 5 degrees Celsius. Second step. Tuesday's temperature from negative 5 came down. So negative 5 minus 2 degrees of temperature came down. So the answer is negative 5 plus negative 2 that is negative 7 degree Celsius. Next is the question was said that on Wednesday from this Tuesday's temperature it rose by 4 degrees Celsius. So Wednesday's temperature is equal to negative 7 plus 4 that is 7 minus 4 it is 3 and put the sign of the bigger number negative. So the answer is negative 3 degree Celsius. Monday's temperature it was negative 5 degree Celsius. Tuesday's temperature it came down that is negative 5 minus 2 negative 7 degree Celsius and Wednesday's temperature Wednesday again it rose by 4 degree Celsius so negative 7 plus 4 so the temperature on Wednesday is negative 3 degree Celsius. So here is your third question. A plane is flying at the height of 5000 meter above the sea level. At a particular point, it is exactly above a submarine floating 1200 meter below the sea level. What is the vertical distance between them? The plane is flying at a height of 5000 meter above the sea level. Above sea level, we will represent using a positive integer. And at a particular point, it is exactly above the submarine floating 1200 meter below the sea level. Below the sea level, that distance is marked using a negative integer. What is the vertical distance between this plane and the submarine? Let us look. So let this be the water level. And the question, 5000 meter above the sea level, there is a plane. So let us draw a plane here. 5000 meter above the sea level. So at this, as it is above the sea level, let us denote it as a positive integer, that is positive 5000 meter. And below the sea level, there is a submarine. Submarine. This submarine is 1200 meter 
below the sea level. As it is below the sea level, we can represent it by a negative integer. So we want to find the distance between the plane and this submarine. So let us see. What is the distance between this and this? 5000 minus minus 1200. That is the distance between this plane and this submarine. So the answer here is 5000 plus anti of negative 1200. That is positive 1200. The answer is 6200 meter. So the distance between the plane and the submarine is positive 6200 meter. So dear students, here is your homework. Exercise 1.1, question number 1. 5 and 6. So let us wind up today's class. We can meet in the next class. Till then, take care. Thank you.